morning it's wednesday the 22nd of november and it's just after 9 a.m i just fed the dogs lex is up getting showered and i'm just having my morning decaf coffee so i've switched it up i have switched to this califia farms unsweetened vanilla almond milk and it's really nice in my coffee you can get it from sainsbury's because i started doing the occasional Sainsbury shop, you know, breaking from the mold of Asda. And I'm having it with one of my breakfast muffins because even though I loosely intermittent fast, I like to have this or something just protein-ish first thing in the morning, just to get me going. And then I'll kind of wait and have a proper breakfast later on. So that's not my breakfast. That's kind of like my snack before breakfast, snack fest. I got like a, a dry skin here. I think that's a, an eye lash there. So I'm clearly looking very attractive. I just weighed in this morning. I'm going to go into more detail what's been going on with my diet and everything, but it's going really well. And I'll do a sit down little chat with you in a bit. This is Lex in his natural habitat. Dun, dun, dun. Stop flashing your ball sack. No one wants to see that. No, I'm sorry. And there's Bailey, the dog who decided to lick my carrot cake muffin and she spent time in doggy prison. What you were really like, look he's there sitting with his legs crossed, it's like this, showing a bit of leg, showing a bit of leg, oh it's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast time and I'm making us some food. I'm gonna have an egg white omelette and Lex is having a bacon sandwich. He's gonna have three bacon medallions with some cream cheese and a cinnamon raisin bagel. Now I know that sounds weird. Lex insists it tastes delicious. I use these cinnamon raisin high protein bagels from Dr. Zach's and I get them from Muscle Food. They have 24 grams of protein per 100 and each bagel is about 100 grams. So I'm just gonna toast that up and spread it with some 50% less light cream cheese from Asda and then I have the bacon in the grill. Then for myself I'm making an egg white omelette. I just want to get some extra micronutrients into me in the morning because I'm going to have, I think I'm going to make some Thai chicken burgers for dinner tonight so there'll be less micros and veggies in that so it would make up for it now for breakfast. We have the egg whites. I get these from Muscle Food. You can pick these up from a lot of the online supplement stores now. If you don't have a Muscle Food, just check with your retailer and some of the butchers, supermarkets also stock egg whites. I'm gonna add in some of this feta. It's really good macros in this feta and it comes in like a little tub. So as you can see, it's in water and then you just lift up the little basket and it's got all little cubed already. So that's quite convenient. I have the dregs of a bag of spinach. I've got some grated high protein cheese from Muscle Food as well. We've got three bacon medallions, some peppers, some red onion, mushroom, tomato, and we have some basil. And I can feel something on my shoulder right now. Oh, hi. What would you like for breakfast? We'd like the mushrooms and a bit of spinach, please, with some scrambled eggs. If you wouldn't mind a bit of cheese. Thanks for the fry. I'm going to use this fry like garlic spray just to fry the pan with and you just put it on a medium heat and I'm going to fry up all the bacon and the veggies first then throw in the egg whites and the cheese last. Here we have Lex's bagel all ready to go and we have the bacon and the onions sizzling away in the pan ready to add. Mm. He's watching Gilmore Girls. You put this on. You yeah. haven't turned it off. I've been out of this room for about 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Bailey, what do you think? Did you have something tasty for breakfast? What did you have? Oh, did Daddy fluff up your bed? Is it not right anymore? Is it a bit of an effort? Oh, God. Poor Bailey. It's hard life. Here is my breakfast omelette. I've got some nimble bread on the side and I have some clover and marmite on top. We've got 140 grams of egg whites and all the yummy ingredients with some a little bit of cheese on top. And I'm gonna use this Blend Bros Sweet Chili. If you haven't tried Blend Bros before, you can get it at Asda. Now, I haven't seen it in any other supermarkets. I think it's just in Asda right now. And the sweet chili sauce originally wasn't that good. 
and I think I said it in one of my Instagrams and the guys from Lembro's sent me out a new and improved one and it's way better, it tastes way more like an actual sweet chilli sauce now and I love their barbecue sauce. I'm not keen on their ketchup, I'll just stick to the reduced sugar and salt Heinz ketchup but the sweet chilli and the barbecue are yummy. They also have a puri puri sauce but I'm just not that into it, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just not my flavour but these are awesome so I'm just going to put this all over my omelette. I'll put the macros right here for this meal. I have done my hair and makeup, I'm all showered and feel all good. I haven't done makeup for the last couple of days because I wore it a lot last week and I felt my skin was a bit ooh, congested so I just took a break but today I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good and I'm stood here in my underwear which must mean one thing, physique update. Before I do my physique update, I just want to update you guys on what is going on with my diet and my training. While we were in Miami, I decided I needed to challenge myself. Both of us did, but me and Lex decided that we wanted to set challenges for ourselves for 2018. I thought for the past two and a half years, I have not stepped on stage. It was something that was a big part of my fitness journey and it was something that really pushed me beyond the ordinary and made me appreciate what I can do with my body and how I can push it to that level. So I've decided I am going to step on stage but if you've been watching my channel for a couple of years and watched my previous competition journeys you'll know that I coach myself. I am a good coach, I know what I'm doing, I'm not saying that I'm going to stop coaching other people but I felt that I needed external help and I didn't want to get Lex and um, put pressure on him to be my coach because that's not very fair on us and our relationship to have him critique me week to week. It's just nicer for him to be there to support me as opposed to critique me. So I have taken on a coach. I contacted Amanda Bucci who is a flexible dieter like myself. She's got amazing results with this guy and I have taken on her coach William for the next six months and he is going to guide me through my flexible dieting to get to stage ready. So we are currently 19 weeks out and so 19 to go but that does include our honeymoon next week Christmas and we are going to LA in January so we are going to have to try and diet down under these conditions but it can be done and I will do it so far in the first 10 days I've just simply been hitting lower targets he's just trying to assess where I'm at with my metabolism and I've seen a three pound weight loss which is good it's really good and I'm really happy with it I'm not doing any excessive cardio yet I actually haven't done any yet I'm meant to be doing two sessions a week but I haven't done them yet so I'm just going to quickly do my physique update because my camera is flashing yeah 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 give it to me now Give it to me now, give it to me now, give it to me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it to me now, give it to me now, give it to me now. I wanna lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes. And I wanna move from the bed down to the, down to the, to the floor. And I wanna, ah, ah, you make it so good, I don't wanna leave. But I gotta lick, 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 know what, what's your fancy to say. I wanna lick, 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 lick you from your head. That was just a super fast physique update for you guys just to see where I'm at 19 weeks out. I'll try and update you weekly or fortnightly on my physique and obviously this is a new series so this is my new competition series. Any suggestions for the name? I may have already come up with one but I'd like to have a name for this series so that you can keep on top of it with me. This is my gym outfit of the day. You've seen me modelling this before on my Gymshark try-on. So these are the two-tone legging. They're really cute because look they have that little V at the front. It's so flattering. Two tone. And then we have the seamless crop. Making pre workout coffee for me and the husband. So just having some of the espresso. But I am making a milky one for me. The Cliffia Farms almond milk does not froth. You heard me, it doesn't froth. So I always use the Alpro coconut almond milk for frothing and it froths up real good. So you can make yourself a proper cappuccino. Lex is just having an espresso with some of the light squirt cream. And then I'm gonna have me skinny flat white. Here we got Lex's espresso topped with cream and then my flat white. You see the two layers? That's because I put the milk in first. So I froth the milk, put that in, and then I add the shot of espresso, and then I'll stir it all through. 
So the heart shaped glass cup is from eBay or Amazon. I've seen them on both. I can't remember what I've got them from. And so they come in two different sizes. It's the larger size. So this is a nicer size. I think the smaller size is more espresso size. But if you just search heart shaped glass coffee cup, it should come up. See my hair, it's already gone flat. Volume problems, volume. In the interest of showing you everything from my full day of eating, I'm gonna have one of these salted caramel high protein cookie from Dr. Zach's. I get them from Muscle Food and they come in a box of like 12 and they're yummy because I'm trying to avoid eating too many processed things. Previous to this, I did eat a lot of the grenade bars and the PHC smart bars, etc., because they taste like candy bars. And I just wanted to kind of get that on my system and try and eat more whole foods. So I've been trying to bake more of my muffins, things like that, when I want something sweet. I even have just like little bars of dark chocolate for when I actually want chocolate. And just trying to eat, yeah, eat my food rather than um, eat processed crappy food. I just want to be really healthy in this prep. So this is my preference. You can totally hit your goals by eating protein bars and all that kind of stuff. I just wouldn't recommend it. It's just not very healthy. I'm here in the gym just about to start my workout. I forgot to mention how incredibly sore I am today. Normally I do two days on, one day off, but the last couple of weeks my training has been astronomically shit. So I've just been determined to get like five workouts in this week as opposed to my normal four. So today will be my third day in a row and then tomorrow I'll take the day off because I've got a friend coming to visit. This is going to be painful. Welcome to my glute and hamstring workout. Hope you enjoy.
in the gym, that disgusting noise is that one and a black one over there somewhere munching away on their macros. I mean dinner of course. I had lovely curly hair and then it was raining up a storm outside. So now I look horrible. Now it looks awful. I have the kettle on. I'm gonna make a coffee. It's 5 p.m. so it's okay. I don't drink coffee past about 6 p.m. because it affects my sleep. But I'm gonna have coffee and then maybe a little snack. And then I'm gonna get on with making dinner. I have planned on going to the cinema tonight, but it's pretty miserable out and I don't really want to go out to it again. So I think it'll just be a cozy Netflix in. Did you know that Netflix and chill means like getting jiggy? I didn't know that. Like when me and Lex say Netflix and chill, we mean like sit in our PJs and watch Netflix. Does that make us like a proper old married couple. <laughs> I was asked recently on my Instagram about how I track coffee. Number one, coffee doesn't have calories so you don't have to track it. But secret sneaky calories are in the milk and anything else you add to your coffee. So if you're adding sugar or you're adding milk you have to track them. Because they all add up, especially if you're having five or six coffees or cappuccinos or lattes. Like seriously, they're going to just eat into your carbs and your fats. So Sometimes I have a cappuccino just to get like a little bit of a carbon protein hit before the gym. I'll have a skinny one. I'm opting to have one of my carrot cake muffins. A second one. They're so good. I know I'm biased because I made them. And they're so easy to make. And so high in protein. And so delicious. So I'm having a second one. I have dinner all ready. I just realized that I have no cucumber to put on top of my burger, but not to worry. I'm just waiting for Lex to get home so I can serve it. It's just in the turned off oven. Lex will have it with the reduced sugar sweet chili sauce on top, but I'm saving on my carbs. I'm going to have it with the Blend Bros sweet chili sauce. Now I mentioned this earlier and how much I love it. And for a 15 gram serving, which is pretty generous serving of it, it's 0.3 grams of fat and 0.6 grams of carbs. In the Blue Dragon, this is the reduced sugar one. Oh, it doesn't have it in 15. Oh, why is nothing ever in serving size? So per 100, it's 33 grams of carbs. So that's quick math, quick math, 4.3 grams of carbs for 15 grams. So you're saving four grams of carbs. I know it doesn't seem much, but when you're on less carbs and you're dieting, you have to kind of cut back where you can. He's home. Okay, so we're gonna have um, our burgers now. Too sexy for my hoodie. Not even wanting to focus on your legs. No, I see that about the burger. Yeah. The camera prefers a burger over me. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy our burgers now. Post workout meal. Yum! What you doing, Lex? Crumble. You eating a whole crumble to yourself? Lex doesn't share crumble. That's a message to Stephanie. <laughs> it's quite threatening because she had a portion of his crumble and she's not welcome back in our house. Sorry, I'm going to put bacon in it. <laughs> Make it not I won't enjoy it, but I'm making a point. <laughs> so he's having it with some of the cart door light. So yes, you can eat ice cream when you're dieting. Although Lex isn't really dieting. I have purchased some ice cream that I want to share with you guys. So this is the Oppo ice cream. I got it from Sainsbury's, but you can also get it in Asda now. It's about two or three pounds, not too expensive. And in 500 ml, now 100 ml is two scoops. So 100 ml is about 60 grams of this. And for 60 grams, which is two scoops, you get four grams of fat, 7.5 grams of carbs and 4.2 grams of protein. Now obviously not a lot of protein, but it's just healthy because it's less fat and carbs. And it's delicious, don't tell Lex. Because I don't want to share it with him because it's really good. So this one is the chocolate hazelnut one. Oh, it tastes like they've got made a Ferrero Rocher into an ice cream. I know I'm really selling it, but I had some last night. And to be honest, I can't fit it into my macros for tonight. So tomorrow is my high carb day. So I'll probably be able to fit it in then. I had it last night though. This is the salted caramel. I haven't tasted this. So tomorrow night, I think I'll have some of this. And it has 3.5 grams of fat for two scoops again, and 6.6 .6 grams of carbs and three grams of protein. If you had enough macros left, you could actually have a whole tub. Because in the whole tub, 
like the whole of this, which is like a proper regular Ben and Jerry's tub. It's quick math, quick math, 20 grams of fat and about 35 grams of carbs. Like that's not bad. You could definitely eat a whole tub of that if you just saved up your fats and carbs. It's 9.30 p.m. and I'm having my final meal. You can hear the kettle brewing in the background for next. I am making what I refer to as my flex bowl. So at the end of the night, I have macros left over and I make a little something something in a bowl. And usually it contains some casein because it's good to have casein late at night because it's like a slow release protein. If you're one of these people who wakes up like hungry, during the night or first thing in the morning. It just keeps you going during the night. And then I will add in some of this Greek yogurt. It's the Liberté one. I actually prefer this one to the Faye one. I put it in a bowl and then I mix it all about and it goes into kind of like a protein mousse. And then if I have fats left over, I'll mix in some peanut butter or put on some coconut or whatever I want. But tonight I'm going to have one of these. <laughs> so they're the green and blacks velvet edition and um, salted caramel but the handy thing is they come like an after eight in like a little box like that so it's like portion control and it's like a little 10 gram bar and that's my little treat for the evening so yes i am dieting and i'm eating chocolate and there is 4.5 grams of fat and 3.9 grams of carbs now they're not vegan because there is butter in them so sorry to all the vegans but this green and blacks is not vegan but the regular green and blacks is vegan and i know you can get the little snack ones and that's good for portion control because i know me and a lot of other people if you have one of those big bars it's hard to stop at just one square portion control we've just watched jim carrey documentary on netflix and it was actually quite good it's how he gets really into his characters and now we're going to have our tea and our flex bowl and i'm going to get an early night and my doms have officially really started to kick in as you can see i keep on changing my arms for the camera because my shoulders are literally getting sore oh, oh it's actually just achy so i'm gonna go now i hope you enjoyed my day of eating day in the life training kind of filling you in on everything that's going on right now and stay tuned for more episodes on my diet series subscribe like and i'll see you guys soon Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents.